Hey! Welcome on in, everybody. I'm Kirsten or Flaming On. Very, very pleased to be here with you. Oh, I actually am about to have to take an Advil. Uh, okay, here we go. Are we feeling silly voices? Maybe 20 minutes from now? Oh no, he did it! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Okay, that, that I can live with. Or maybe now. <laughs> that will jump scare me at some point during this stream. Like, that is the most chill reaction I've had to the Jar Jar so far. Um, <laughs> I am <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to that. I saw some very lewd Jar Jar Binks art in a Discord server. How lewd is it, and is it appropriate to put in our Discord? Because I'm I'm curious. Um, no, thank you, Zem. Are you sure, Zem? Are you? Oh, no one needs or wants that. Hmm. Huh. <sighs> Do I need or want that? No. Um, I have mod powers. <laughs> I will delete. Okay, everybody, you heard it. Zem's the no fun allowed police. <laughs> um, okay. Jar Jar was walking with his third leg flopping. I don't know who just allowed that one. I think it was Dino. Thank you, Dino, doing the Lord's work. I'm the no Jar Jar porn police. Yeah, fair. Oh. Oh. Shaggy voice. It wasn't me. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, we've seen this one before. I have called to inform you that, yeah, I think it was third leg. It, yeah, there it is. Thanks, Dino. I've called to inform you that your great, great, grand second, once removed cousin's friend's grandpa's passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? I gotta allow Annex's chat. Not even 10 minutes into stream and we already have porn police. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> really? That's, mm -hmm. gotta test Automod today. Okay, I'm gonna say under what conditions? Because I don't want Valentina getting married right now. And I know money, 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 give now. We'll do that. So under what conditions? Very clever. Well, there were some conditions, but one of the conditions was there are no conditions if you asked if there were any conditions. So there are no conditions. Oh. Right? Huh. Yeah, no, listen. If no. you missed last stream stuff went down the last two streams things have gone down um anyway everything's good everything's normal in 1924 we're very happily uh painting uh we're gonna try to level up both our aspiration here painter extraordinaire and our romantic aspiration i'm in the office for a week and you guys light the place on fire yeah listen <laughs> listen sam i don't know <laughs> if you know the extent towards <laughs> which we set this place on fire. There's some strange Nigerian prince wants to send you his fortune, but first give me your bank information. Yep, yep, exactly. Okay, we painted a masterpiece. Um, I'm not really into it. I'll sell it. We are also trying to build some fame for Valentina. I figure making her a little bit famous, very fun. Where's the Fraser sound alert when you need it? Shaking my head. Listen, which would I take out to replace with Fraser, and what Fraser would I do? Would it be the "Hey baby, I hear the blues a calling," or would it be him being like ah, ah, quite stylish, right? Speaking of setting things on fire, uh oh, um, my grandmother set the stove on fire. Oh no, ten minutes ago. She put a pot of oil on heat for long enough that oh, it burst into flames. Jeez, Yara. Oh, is everybody okay? Just add it in the bits. Add all of the Fraser sounds. I'll do it. I'll do it. I absolutely will do it, Dino. Thank you for ad bork. I think they didn't like me going like, oh. Yes, and Grandma, don't you dare start making yourself another drink. You know what's fun to think about in retrospect? 
the Oma command, Grandma, don't you dare start making another drink, that's Valentina's contemporary. That quote is about Harriet. I will give all the bits. My body is ready. I see you. I see you. I love you. Uh, let me actually do a shout out for our beloved Dino. Dino, are you streaming tonight? Are we getting some Enjoy batch tonight? Ugh. Yes, we do both a shout out and an announcement. Ooh. Let's go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival and check out fireworks. I hear they have the best fireworks show in town. Sounds good. Okay, Bernilla. Yeah, I want those tossed salad and scrambled eggs. Yes, yes, yes. We're in fact getting batch. Good, good. Um, oh man. I might not be in chat tonight. We have to see. Cause we, I know, I missed, I, Dino, I swear to God, Tuesday is rough right now. Frickin' it's work stuff. I wish there was an event akin to the World Fair that would be fun and period appropriate. I agree. I caught up on the VOD. Fuck, I love Paradise. Paradise is such a fun season. Anyway, if you're not already following Dino, and I think everyone here is, follow Dino. If you're not already watching Paradise, watch Paradise. Extremely good. So whose salad are we tossing? And from whom are these eggs coming? <laughs> Volleyball, so not me. <laughs> if you don't follow Dino, what's wrong with you? Exactly. And actually, on that end, let me do a shout out for our dear friend Annex as well. My Dinkleberg. Um, Y'all are too nice, I can't handle it. Well, learn to handle it, okay? I'm not gonna stop complimenting you. This man has some shiny metal pants on. Hello. <laughs> Follow Annex, don't be stupid. Mm -hmm, exactly. I love the idea of volleyball, but I have very minimal ability to strike a ball with enough coordination to stay in bounds. Yeah, my wrists have become so weak from typing. Can I get a hell yeah? Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Can, Can I, I get, get a hell, hell yeah? yeah? Ah, ah shit. shit. Zem is in the stream hole, don't look at me. Pretends not to look. Zem, Zem, I'm still gonna do the Zem command. Zem is not streaming right now, but if you don't follow Zem, it's a good time. We, we love Zem. Zem, honestly, the blueprint. Um, we got some fascinating, <gasps> Teresa's here and not wearing a period appropriate outfit, Teresa. I don't actually know who Jenna Marbles is. Whoa, you're a fuck. Jenna Marbles is like one of the OG YouTubers. She stepped away from the platform in, I think, 2019 um, because there was like a lot of criticism um, about her wanting to separate herself from past works that she was embarrassed by and didn't think uh, suited her brand anymore. And then the pandemic hit. So uh yeah nah follow all the peeps don't be silly excellent announcement i'm knee deep in terror wait knee deep in terrible alchemy anime game that no one wants to watch <laughs> it do sound cool hey ava hello right my interest is peaked absolutely um let me say hi to freaking teresa because she's here actually also welcome in in addition to saying hi to my friends, let's go on a picnic. We're going to go on a picnic. Uh, we're planning a picnic with delicious goodies. Type exclamation mark picnic space. Enter any amount of points up to 10,000 to join us on the picnic. Picnic two. Annex really out here saying I don't believe Streamlabs is going to give me a fair shake. But if they do, four points. Um, so one of the things that happened last week is Teresa called us right after we had given birth to our secret shame baby and was like, hey, my boyfriend has a ring in his bag. I think he's gonna propose to me. What should I do? And we were like, you should say yes. And she was like, are you sure? That feels like such a big step. Oh, oh I, I think I'm too young. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. And it's like, fuck off, Teresa. Anyway, I'm very glad to see her here. 
Yeah, shame baby. What's funny is the same day, the same day, we will do, ooh, jokesters or pranksters? I feel like pranksters, a shaby. OMG, I forgot about your prom night dumpster baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the same stream that Valentina gave birth to a shame baby, um, that that stream, I start stream always by testing out the quote function from CloudBot. And uh, the CloudBot quote, that stream, I think was dumpster baby voice, I want to go to there, or toilet baby voice or something like, something very immature, but appropriate. Headline effects off, gotta get a picky. Uh, quote 60, I spent all that time and money and did nothing about the P.P. Bush situation. I can place that. That's very early Noah. Um, okay, this is cute. Um, oh, okay, only enough for some of the chat. Sandwiches are gonna go to Ava, Flam, and Dino. As Marie Antoinette once famously said, let them eat ass. I don't know who, who asked quotes to do that, but picnic was sexist. I say sexist. Yes, indeed, indeed. And Annex, you did, you did, yeah, you did say. We know this guy, we met him. Sing prankster theme song. Uh, yes, I would like to hear this. I honestly stay away from humor and hijinks festival for the most part. Now, even though this man is absurdly attractive, he is married. So we can't really pursue him. You just farted? Wow, I hate that. That didn't stop Val- Yeah, listen, listen. Okay, here's the thing. Valentina has learned her lesson. She absolutely has. She's like, well, I guess me sleeping with a married man led to me getting pregnant, which is the worst thing that ever happened to me. How about I don't do that again, right? But you know, you know who doesn't have that same moral understanding? Our sister. We should talk up our sister who's engaged, right? Just to be like, hey, you're young and attractive. Have you met my sister? and think nothing of it. But of course, Teresa's aspiration is to ruin relationships, including her own. So let's go introduce her to a married man. You farted banned. <laughs> you farted straight to jail. This lady's very pretty. The shock killed his wife. Yeah, I can't believe this woman in public farted in front of me. Oh, wait, you mean the shock of Valentina and the, uh, the married man getting together. Yes, killed his wife. That or he killed her with a fire. Things happened last week. Yeah, KBS just went down to zero and they're back up. Things happened. Pranksters are in the lead. Okay, good. And what did he say about Teresa? Uh, Valentina, I wasn't aware you felt so strongly about Teresa. She seems like good company. I'll chat with her soon. I'm about to ruin this man's whole career. Uh, let me go meet this lady. Hello. Cheerful introduction. She's very fancy. Who are you? Teresa's a... Oh, Teresa's great. I'm glad I got to know her. Cool, 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 cool. This lady is extremely beautiful. Look at her face. Wow. Okay. Um, who are you? And then, friendly, let me ask about her career, get to know. I don't even know her name. Um... May Lin. Ooh, okay. Mostly the important thing today is that we see the fireworks, but we can also fuck around with some of these jokesters. I want to play your Sims. They're also attractive. Not gonna lie, Annex. It's because I spent a ridiculously long time custom making every Sim in the save and making them look pretty. 
listen, it did take a couple months. I was doing it uh, probably when we were in the 80s or 90s, last decades, all the way through. We enjoyed it. It's true, it's true, it's true. You are attractive, Annex. What better sim to play than yourself? Flam, you're a pro. Nah, nah, Flam simply have too much hands. Wait, Flam have too many hands. No, Flam have too much time on her hands. Pranksters are in the lead by five. Great, we're gonna win. I could never too lazy. Yeah, for the most part, I was grabbing Sims off of the gallery that had been like posted to the little Simsy tag. But, uh, listen, some of, <laughs> Flam has too many hands, gotta lose a hand. <laughs> um, some of the Sims on the little Simsy tag, honestly, had incredibly, um, does she just fart? Yes, she did. Yikes. Yeah, I feel the same, Valentina. Let's go talk to this other person. Um, yikes, 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 yikes. Um, start a preposterous rumor. Um, my Outlook fucked up the last two years of my emails by deleting anything I had in folders. <gasps> oh, I spent the last day fixing it. Oh, Sam. No wonder you feel like wet cheese. Also, KBS back down. Cool, 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 cool. Um, can I reset those? Classic. We're really connecting. Ay, 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 ay. Kitsune. Uchima. Wafika Dotki. Avenue. Libankusha. More mischief. Uh -huh. Wow, OBS. Ooh, onto a third. Jeez. Okay, we're back. Yikes, 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 yikes. Uh, you missed literally nothing. Oh! Bernila has a frickin'... Hold on. Oh, yikes. I don't know if I could do that. Look at that. Oh, mm, huh. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want a cursed doll? I cursed the stream with my email story. It's true. Zem's email story destroyed it. Who is the hottie next to her? Oh, this guy. Uh, let me introduce myself. Do I know him? I might know him. Hold on. I'm going to turn headline effects back on. I think I do know him. I think that's Timothy Ogden. It is. Okay. Not true. Miss your lovely voice and beautiful face and warm presence. <sighs> Thank you, Yura. That's very sweet. So the hottie next to her is actually someone that Valentina has slept with. Um, I was working on her romantic aspiration off stream a little bit. And one of the things was she had to have three first kisses. Anyway, she met this guy. He was single. He was hot. So I was like, OK, kiss him. And then they drank a bunch and she took him home and they woohooed. And then they both went to sleep and then they woohooed a second time. And she was like, listen, I don't want to be in a relationship with you, but I think you're really attractive. And also both of the times that we woohooed, it was spectacular woohoo. Would you like to be in an alliance with me? She was, there's actually an option where you can ask to be woohoo partners. And he was like, no, I don't want to be your woohoo partner. So I think he was a little bit more interested in um, pursuing a relationship, whereas she's like, no, I just want to have fun. So we'll ask him again. She's like, hey, how's it going? She's definitely playing the field, right? Like she doesn't want to settle down. She did the committed relationship with Elan and that led to a baby. Um. 
I think he might have said yes this time. Yes, they're woohoo partners. Okay, how exciting. Valentina has a new woohoo partner. Today marks the beginning of a newfound relationship. Is your Sims dress CC? It's cute. It is. Yes, it is definitely. And it matches her hat. Um, basically, anytime we have main house Sim in decades, they wear CC. Let me see if that actually... Um, I wonder if there's a custom thing in here. It was a sweet, it was a sweet hug. Okay, there is a custom relationship. Valentina and Timothy have agreed to keep their relationship focused on woohoo. <laughs> yeah, extremely cool of you. We love to see it. Yeah. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. What? I saw some interesting things here. Um, romance. We don't want to be boyfriend. Um, I might have to just scroll through for a sec. Woohoo without protection. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, huh. He'll sleep with anyone, but only dates women. Sounds like most men who have ever slid into my DMs. Get them, Yura. Hell yeah. No, mm, we hate to see that. Um, I saw something and then it went away. Okay. End woohoo partnership is one of our options. Um, and then I saw something else, but it has evaded me now. I wonder if clicking one more time, it looked like it had a lampshade. No, interesting, okay. Anyway, we're gonna go prank a bunch more people, I think. Or I guess we're gonna make out. It looks like he just buzzered me? Yikes, come on. It is extremely weird to me that his name is Timothy, uh, because that's the dog. And I'm like, huh, hmm, she's woohooing a man named Timothy, right? Technically, Timothy's name is not Timothy, it's Timmy. I'm the only one who calls him Timothy, and yet, he buzzered my bussy! <laughs> okay, I saw, um, pretend to be slapped, what does that do? <gasps> She's doing it to me! She's slapping me! <laughs> this is a fun festival. I've never done this one. That was that was actually quite cute. Um He buzzered my bussy, added as quote 92. We're very close. Very, very, very close to a hundred. Um, oh gosh, okay, hold on, long. Quick question, I wasn't sure if it was funny. Situation, woman on Twitter, I don't know, posted, uh, a guy that reads is all I want. My thought, men, we males, must be horrible if the expectations for us are that low. Is that funny? I thought it was, but since she was a stranger, I'm not sure if I should post it. Mmm, yes, honestly, I would say, and I've run into this situation on Twitter quite frequently, where it's like, I go to write a reply and I'm like, actually, you know what? Nah, let me take a back seat, right? Because you don't know the context that she's posting from. Does this man have an eyebrow ring? Sorry, sorry, real talk in a sec. I think he does have, what the fuck? That's something altogether. Eyebrow ring cursed doll, excellent. Ah, Zem. Zem did the thing. Hold on. Be right back. She's dead. Good news. She's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Binks is dead. Thank you for the ad, Bork. Pranksters are in the lead by three. Okay, so they're definitely winning. Can I... What can I do? Ooh. <gasps> Please explain to me the history of the Yaya Binks. Oh, pranksters win. All pranksters have received a voodoo doll fireworks $500. Festival will end in one hour. Finish up activities before it closes. Come back next time the festival's in town. Okay, well, can I watch the fireworks? That's what we're supposed to do. Okay, so the lore is... I can't remember, but there's a clip, and I'm pretty sure it was Dino who clipped it, where we were, t I think someone, and it might have been Karina, 
misspelled Jar Jar Binks as Yaya Binks because uh, she had just heard me say Jar Jar Binks. And I loved the idea of Yaya, which is uh, grandma in quite a few different countries, of having like a grandmother Jar Jar Binks. Um, and the thing about her is anytime we've mentioned her, the lore sort of just flows out of me. And when I become her, I can't, I can't not say weird shit. So evidently, she lives in like a Baba Yaga style house. Um, she devours children like the monster in it. <laughs> and um, yeah. Hey, Trichy Scroll, welcome back. Good time to come back. You missed nothing. We went to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Um, did you like the Yaya video I shared with you? Ooh, I have to remember if I saw it. When did you share it, Yura? Okay, we watched, beautiful. We watched the fireworks with our friend and now we're gonna head home. So really, really, you did not miss much. We are about to start the real playing now. That's a question. Did you like the video I shared with you? Yeah, I thought I answered the question. Um. Anyway, also there's a TikTok noise where it goes from Siberia, she lives in Poland, and I don't know the other two parts of it, but it's always about dogs sort of dressed up as grandmothers. Um, and so I'm like, ah, that's her, that's her theme song, surely. Hey, hey. Okay, well I guess we're not gonna talk to our friend and instead we'll just go home. Cool. Uh, it was the Oikos Greek yogurt video where Yaya says that the people at the pool party this looks like pornography in a judgmental tone. I don't think I've seen it. I think, I think I have to go watch that. Um, yeah, cause I, I love Oikos Greek yogurt. It is maybe my preferred yogurt. Um, they make very, very good zesty flavors. Boring white people shit. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I would remember that if I had seen it. So I must, I must. And also, white people love yogurt. Absolutely true, Twitchy Squirrel, yup. <laughs> For a long time, actually, I didn't have any dairy. I cut out like milk, cheese, yogurt, all of that um, because I was performing a lot. And I was like, oh, it makes me flummy. I don't want to have it. And then I hit like my early mid twenties and I was like, mm, fuck that shit. Yogurt, she good. Yeah, white people love yogurt. I'm Siberia, she lives in Poland. I don't know the rest of the song. Um, I read that Chardonnay is a white woman's drink. Yeah, Chardonnay is a white woman's drink if ever I've heard of one. I, that being said, right? don't drink Chardonnay just because I don't drink wine. Because I, um, I think it yucky. Perhaps as an old fart, I'll start thinking that the antioxidants in wine are worth it. But until then, mm -mm. First one specifically is a pool party ad. Second is four of them in a row. Enjoy Yaya. Thank you. Thank you, Yura. I will devour that Yaya in the same way that Yaya Binks would devour the souls of children. Okay, uh, do I have any food in there or was that the last of my food? Oh no, I have to make food at 1 a.m. It's the worst. Um, I will have caprese salad. Not really gonna hit the spot at 1 a.m., but what can you do? Make snack instead. Ah, Zem, you're brilliant. Yes, yes. And you know, while I don't necessarily think that the food would hit the spot, I do think a visit from our woohoo partner could, especially because we saw him at the festival. So listen, I don't know. The game usually doesn't like you inviting people over at like 1 a.m., but we could do it. We're going to send the are you up text. I don't think he's going to say yes, but 
Shaka. Uh, Timothy's sleeping. Classic. My guy, you're sleeping on this. <laughs> it's a booty call, damn it. Woohoo, partner's gonna hit a different spot. Yep, that's the thinking. I love that there is the ability to have woohoo partners now. I legitimately had never seen it. I discovered it off stream and I was like, oh, that's fun. Um, okay. In the early 2010s, it was an Oikos marketing campaign that Yaya doesn't approve of your life choices, but she does approve of Oikos foods. You're up. You're up. I'm going to allow that, but I'm not going to read it. <laughs> Woohoo partner hits the spot. Indeed, Annex. Ah, it's a booty call, darn it. Right, Sims, please. You would think that that's the type of realism folks would campaign for. Like, I want a sim that is romantically entangled with my sim to be willing to come over any hour of the day. Thank you. Well, I guess we'll just go to sleep. Yeah. Anyway, we have things going on in Valentina's life, right? Like, she's actually doing well. She had started off, I think, with 5,000 simoleons. And all of the painting and selling paintings that she's done, she's worked her way up to 15,000. Have you played with Wicked Whims? I have not. Listen, I'm a coward. Sims, please, is a good quote. Thank you, Yura. I have not played with Wicked Whims personally. I have seen folks who have. And uh, shoot, it's already that late. Have a good one, Annex. Good luck. Hi everyone, I love playing Decades Talents, so much fun. Hey, Mortimer Goth's mistress, an incredibly good username. How is it going? We are also playing Decades Challenge, of course. Uh, we're in 1924. It's a great username. Tells me exactly what you're about. Okay, uh, couldn't reach your mailbox, that's okay. We'll go pay those bills and make some breakfast. It looks like it's raining again. This is fine. Um. Yeah. How is it going, Mortimer Goth's mistress? We are in 1924. We're living in Tartosa. MGM. Amazing. Very good short form, Ava. Anyway, we're living in sort of like a Tartosan um, apartment building. Um, so I filled all of the other apartments with platforms so that it would be a tiny bit more realistic. Uh, let me take you on a tiny little tour. Tour. I have to get through the Canadian accent. Uh, all lights. Thank you. If you don't mind me asking what year did you start? Um, I started in 1890. Uh, however, I've been streaming Decades Challenge since 2020. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I built it. Um, yeah, Valentina is our second heir. We sort of play uh, with like a realistic passage of time as opposed to uh, every 10 years, a new generation, new uh, heir type of deal. So here's our extremely cozy little living room, tiny little book nook. Uh, through here, we've got a tight little hallway. Um, we've got a nice second bedroom. And uh, right now we're just using it as an art studio. Valentina wants to be an artist and we're also pursuing some fame with her. Here is her bedroom, pretty simple, but she is a slightly fancy lady. Um, I love this item that came with high school years, but it actually doesn't work as a dresser, which is disappointing. We're slowly building up our collection of sunset pictures. It is impossible to get the timing right. Um, tight little 1920s bathroom, very cramped. But again, those high school years items coming in clutch. And then uh, we have a little kitchen and we just eat out on the patio because usually it's not raining. Yes, out here, our patio. Gorge. But the view from where she sits down, right? Usually beautiful. Love the sink in the bathroom. Yes, me too, Twitchy Squirrel. I honestly was quite pleased with um, a lot of the aesthetic choices that we got in high school years, there's a lot of like art deco um, 1920s appropriate items. Tight little 1920s bathroom isn't what I thought the last word would be. <laughs> Yikes, you're a... Hey, coffee. Sorry I'm late. Just woke up a few minutes ago. 
never need to apologize for being late to stream. I'm just happy that you're here at all. How has your day been, Coffee? You just woke up. Oh, man. Okay, did your father leave a plate for you? And if so, what did he leave? Truly didn't miss much. We just, uh, we saw one of our lovers. Um, and we officially became woohoo partners with him. As opposed to, let's have some brunch. Um, I'll make some French toast. Yeah. F it. I basically have antlers. I basically have antlers anymore. The ah. woo. Um, yes. Anyway, this is our current heir, Mortimer Garth's mistress. Uh, she's <laughs> Valentina. She was the second born of our kids in the 1890s. Um, she wants to be an artist. And she also is pursuing a romantic aspiration. Um, I think it's the serial romantic one. So she's doing a lot of dating before settling down. Anyway, the first person she sort of caught up with and was seeing romantically here in Tartosa, as it turns out, was a married man and he had two children. And on top of that, she got pregnant. Oh, it was it was such a mess. We use this mod by uh, Lumpenau, however, that sets like custom fertility. And part of the mod is there's actually um, the ability to give a child up for adoption. So we ended up uh, adopting. Yeah, right. It was it was real drama. We gave the baby up to our brother. It's such a good mod! Luminau really out here saving my life, snatching my wig. Um, absolutely stan. Let me just see if I can find her family tree. Um, I didn't, but I'll probably make sandwiches with chips or eat leftover pizza. Mmm. Honestly, good options, coffee. Where the heck? Here it is. Yeah, okay. So when you go to the family tree... No problem, Yura, we have an exclamation mark lurk command. I want chips, that sounds good. Honestly, I could go for chips, but the extremely Canadian ketchup chips. I am having very much like a craving for them. I don't usually, like they're very vinegary, so I'm not usually into them. Um, anyway, here's our extremely small family tree so far. Um, our first generation, we started with Noah Nelson and we started when he was like 14. Um, in his early 20s, he got married to Marjorie, and they had four bio kids, uh, Diego, Valentina, and then twins, Teresa and Tulio. But they ended up also adopting uh, another child, Arturo. Weirdly, he's not in the tree. Anyway, Diego, right before 1920 hit, got married to his sweetheart, Milagros. They have a daughter, Vanessa. And they officially adopted Valentina's son, Oscar. Kept, right, ketchup chip sounds good. Little Canadian invention. If I had to, I'd oh, all dressed for Canadian chip flavor. Coffee, Takis. Ooh, dynamite chips. That sounds lovely. Just your usual spicy. I have still never had a Taki in my life. I long for talkies. When I come across oh, the border <laughs> in a couple of months for my ah. academic conference, I might have to acquire some talkies. We're going to just freshen up our appearance a little bit. Do we have them? I've literally never seen a talkie in Canada, Zem. Sounds fake. Fortinos and Freshco. Oh, okay. For like two years. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. I perhaps have to acquire some Takis then. Yeah, we're feeling a little rough. Um, complete 10 excellent paintings. I think we can do that before the end of stream. And then the other thing I want to take a look at is the love. We're doing serial romantic. We need to have one more first kiss in order to finish that. So we're going to just like teleport into town. 
I have to sneeze. Oh, oh, I caught it. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna mute the mic, but I caught it. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, we're gonna teleport to town because it's a bit of a walk. Um, and who is that? Oh, Jose Gomez, who was one of Karina's uh, bachelors from the gallery. I can go. Oh, wait, hold on. It's Dino. Finding a new person to kiss is so silly. Yeah, don't it, don't it seem that way. We could kiss Dino thing. Here's the sim that is Dino in the 1920s. We could kiss her. This is why I said I want to send a P.O. box. Mm, but coffee, I don't want you to have to spend your money to get me snacks. I'll just buy them. You put together a list, I will get them. I swear to you, I'll do it. Hello, uh, Dino thing. Could I perhaps subtly flirt with you? No, coffee, coffee, save your money, for real. I appreciate you, though. Thank you. Oh, dag, dag. She's like, ah, hey, hey, Dino, want to swim my way, maybe? Hmm? I do feel like flirting with a woman is perhaps a little risky for the daytime. Valentina is, of course, uh, bi, but also demi. So it's like, oh, well, hey, how's it going? Just like a low-key flirt, right? <laughs> Could we build a sand sculpture together? Just a low-key oh. flirt, just a little one. Okay. Huh. Hey, it's, it's raining. Uh, do you want to make a sand sculpture with me? Okay, the one thing about Jose, I gotta say it. Karina does a nice job, because she's like, nah, 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 this man got a little bit of a fatty. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not, not tons. We could definitely see more, but just a, just a little. Okay. <laughs> I love my flam. I'll send you. You'll accept my love. Coffee, I already accept your love. You do not have to send me snacks to prove it. I love you. Speaking of snacks, let me open a picnic for us. Picnicking is our community's version of heisting. It's just a heist minigame by another name. To join us on the heist minigame, all you have to do is go exclamation mark picnic space and then enter any amount of points up to 10,000. I recommend starting a little bit lower if you have not partaken in picnics before. Um, or if you're unsure of how many points you have. A good bet is usually like 100 to 300, though everybody out here, they going wild, they going ham. No, you don't. You won't accept my love gift. Coffee. Coffee, my beloved baby. I think we are making... Yeah, it's a cow plant. We're picnic maxing out here. We absolutely are. It's true. I have had... Three first kisses. Okay, let me let me just make sure that there's not tons of people around. We'll have Dino be our third kiss. Why not? Why not? We've not really pursued a female relationship. Dino, as long as you're comfortable with it, we're gonna just we're gonna just see. Make a flirtatious joke. Just a little bit. Yeah, no, she seems okay with it. And we have a tiny bit of romance. Can I kiss Dino's sandy little hands? Imagine, just like 1920s lesbians. We settle down, we have a farm together, we raise chickens. I, I honestly don't know if Valentina could go back to being a farm girl, but... Let's just make sure that she's single. I'm a little aggressive because mom got me aggressive. No! Coffee, don't be aggressive. I'm sorry. Um, ask if single. Here we go. Okay, only packed enough sandwiches for some of the chat. <gasps> it's Ava, Twitchy, and Flam. Dino is single and she's romantic. Oh no, oh no. Jose Gomez is coming back. Jose, go away. Go away. He's like, I know what you are. <laughs> okay, we're gonna kiss Dino. We are gonna kiss Dino. We're still joking. 
We could kiss Dino. We could kiss Dino. <laughs> Offer her a rose. Kiss from a rose on the uh, baby. Where are you going? Cuties. Oh! Okay, actually, listen. Dino totally just glitched a little bit, but I'm glad she did. Look at that. A queen. Dino, let me kiss you. And you know what's fun? Yeah, she's walking on water. You know what's fun about dating a woman in 1920? She can't get you pregnant. We love to see that. Listen, honestly, do we think that the whole dating a married man who had children and getting pregnant with his child was so traumatizing for Valentina that it made her only want to date women? Because I don't know. Are you saying your sim is having risky sex after the first kiss? <laughs> <laughs> okay no twitchy scroll i could a hundred percent okay i'll tell you in a minute uh when a dear angel shares with you what does this man want oh well now we'll never find out big hug no not goodbye not goodbye i have to kiss you let me kiss you she's saying her simp is a two lira tramp with cheap bridge work no Valentina is not a tramp. She's simply romantic. We do not, we do not slut shame, not even with a sim. Um, just a little first kiss with Dino, okay? Dino had given me actually her consent to kiss her a couple streams ago, so. <laughs> and no one's looking. Excellent. Why, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, my grandpa is evidently at my house, so I gotta go. We'll see you later. Boobies are eating each other. Ah! Sophia's sister Angela from Golden Girls. I have not seen all of Golden Girls. I know, like, just enough surface information. Makes sense. Thank you for telling me it's a quote, you're, uh... I got an ad break right after I said that, lol. <laughs> God, twitchy scroll. Okay, my grandpa is at my house. I gotta go up there. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I can't leave my grandpa in the rain. Where is he? Okay, he's there. Yeah, okay. We're gonna let her do that. And then we're gonna teleport here. Don't worry, Grandpa, I'm coming. <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. That that didn't take me but a moment. Thinking about skiing, you silly billy. Hi, Crumpapa. Honestly, I can't believe Lorenzo's still around. He'd be like 70. He's brought me a gift, though. Before I woke up, I had an interesting dream. Ooh, are you going to tell us about the dream coffee? Grandpa brought us a neighborly gift, one old Gabby. It's an old Gabby. Is it a farm sim trophy? Hold on. The other day I saw a Sims 3 TikTok where the Sims set a baby on the ground outside and it got lost in snow. Oh my, it is. <gasps> it's a little farmer. Or wait, he might be a trash man. I think he's a trash man. He's a trash man, not a farmer. Yikes, 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 yikes. Um, oh my gosh. To a degree, I do actually miss Sims 3 babies. They were a very good time. Um, and the toddlers having to learn how to walk from crawling. I am excited to see infants. I, I don't know. I don't know when we're going to get them. The Sims team said it would be this quarter, but technically that could be any time between now and the end of March. And people were expecting it in January. I really doubt we're going to get it before the end of January. Um, 
I honestly, at this point, I am thinking it'll be March. He's actually those people who work with cars, if you remember correctly. Hmm. Oh! Coffee, you're right! He works with cars in the My Sims games. I remember in The Sims 2, you could take care of your toddlers by giving them a dog bed and a filled dog dish. I didn't even know. I truly only played a little bit of Sims 2. Um... Oh my gosh, you could feed your Sims 2 toddler out of a dog dish? Would I do that? Would I do that? I might. Oh my gosh. I'm most familiar with Sims 2. This is, this is fair. I feel like for most people, Sims 2 is the one they're most familiar with. Um, I maybe had Sims 2 for six months before Sims 3 came out. I played a lot of Sims 1, like The Sims, and I got it at the Scholastic Book Fair, right? Uh -huh. Really tells ya. Um, but I definitely, like, I played Sims 3 religiously all throughout high school. Um, I actually used it more than once in high school to, like, do an assignment by, like, having my Sims acted out or, like, designing things in the game for the assignment. Oh, man. That's... Oh, no way, Mortimer! Uh, wow. Phenomenal. I don't think I've ever met another person who got Sims through Scholastic, so... Mwah. We stan. Um, Coffee's dream was about, oh, you played a game when you were a kid before my bestie brother broke it. Oh, Coffee. Game still that sucked me in was Sims Medieval because it has quest lines and plot. Mama needs structure. I honestly could be into playing Sims Medieval on stream. I have never played it, but the fact that they got Patrick Stewart to do voiceover for it it sounds interesting. If my computer can run it, I think that would be fun. Um, hey, Dietra! Doing good, thank you. How are you? Um, when I was in high school, we had Sims 2. Ooh, yes, how was your stream? What were you up to today, Dietra? Doing well today. I, uh, I taught on campus this morning. Um, I got to introduce my students to a uh, a really interesting medieval woman um, named Catherine of Siena. She believed that she was in a spiritual relationship with Jesus. Um, <laughs> and also, um, when she died, the church at the time, in order to determine if people were saints, they would bury you for a year and then unbury you. And if you hadn't rotted and if your body smelled sweet, then they were like, oh, God protected her. So she's a saint. And then in order to spread your saintliness, they would chop up your dead body and send pieces of it to different corners of the planet. So anyway, I got to be like, hey, there's this cool lady. And I had a student yell at me towards the end of the class. So I would look over at them and they held up a picture of her severed mummified head it was something <laughs> so hungry sims medieval uses sims 3 engine so your device should be able to handle it yes 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 though i've never put sims 3 on this computer i do remember her being chunky art yeah no absolutely honestly it was a very good class i also fell out of my chair flat on my butt um, in front of like 70 students, this is fine. <laughs> I might do a steamy shower. Level six charisma, strong romantic relationship with three Sims at once. Shit. Oh, Valentina. Kiss 10 Sims. Oh boy. I loved Sims Medieval. It was so much fun. I wish they would bring it back for Sims 4. Yeah, or like... Okay, I know that Sims 3, the last expansion that came out, was Into the Future. I feel like a fun way of sort of doing a Sims Medieval for Sims 4 could be, like, Sims 4 in space. <laughs> um, 
practice speech. We're just going to try to get our charisma up a little bit. We're really close. Um, if you want to talk about women with amazing history, talk about Julie de Aubigny. Uh, she was a French sword fighting opera singing bisexual. I will 100% tuck that knowledge in my brain, Yura. Um, we're helping the students right now to try and determine what their final project will be on. And like, it's really, really open because it's a third year class. Um, so like, they could absolutely do a project on her. Let me invite over my woohoo partner, Timothy. See if he comes over. Do a little woohoo, send him home, go out to the club. Um, in my dream, it took place in Italy or France. It was two apartments uh, kind of connected. There was a sitting area for cats and dogs. Not sure if it was me or another person's point of view, but I saw everything and got to know her friend. Hmm. Okay. Wait, hold on. Who's here? Uh oh, oh, Diego's here. Uh oh. Diego, no, Diego. Diego, go away. That's our brother. Diego, go away. Um, if you want a Japanese feminist from the warring states period of Japan, learn about Izumo no Okuni. Ooh! Yas, Yura! Um, let me do a little press cheek with our woohoo partner. Thanks for coming over. We are not in a relationship. We are just, this is purely about the woohoo gonna do a little flirt he's flirty we're feeling very flirty <laughs> pillow fight oh yikes we're gonna go woohoo with timothy so technically we don't have to do try for pregnancy with the lumpanow mod i put on uh risky woohoo but also with the lumpanow mod you can get woohoo protection hey my guy Listen, don't eat a sandwich. Oh my god, are you kidding me? She was a traveling shrine maid who did performances to make money and eventually took in women abandoned by society. Part two coming. Ooh, yes, please, Yura. What the fuck, Timothy? Timothy! You are here for the woohoo! Oh my god. I'll give you a rose if it makes you feel better. Like, oh man, this man truly just wants to have a proper relationship, like with commitment and monogamy. And Valentina's not about this right now. Taught them song, dance, and acting. Her acting troupe eventually became what we would now know as Kabuki. <gasps> That's amazing, Yura. Okay, I definitely, definitely, definitely need to tuck those facts in my brain. Um, cause that's the type of thing where I would love to introduce the students to that, especially if they're considering medieval, like gender, sexuality, uh, the roles of women, because so often, <gasps> he denied me woohoo again. Timothy gave Valentina a gift with a lot, with a romantic message. You're my heart, my soul, my treasure, my today, my tomorrow, my forever, my everything. Timothy, why are you giving me gifts like that, but then not woohooing me? Cold shoulder. Yikes. Argue. Yeah, I'm going to ask him to leave. Like, no, 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 no. Go away. Go home. You came over here knowing that I was bringing you over here for woohoo purposes. If you... If you do not want a woohoo, go away. Okay, we're going to go party. Absolutely, we're going to go party. Um, Put on a flapper outfit. Let's go to the club. See who shows up. Um, And in fact, you know what? I'll invite Dino to go with me. We can flirt with Dino. It'll be great. Um, travel with Dino. 
we are working on our fame as well. So like going out in public and dancing and, you know, I don't know, singing or whatever, all good things. So we're going to go to the nightclub. We're going to get ready to dance, have a good time. Yeah. Okay, so in Coffee's dream, you were visiting your friend that lived in an apartment building with two young children, went in between the area that was hanging out and the cats and dogs area, took a picture of a cat, but out of nowhere, a guy comes to tell her not to take videos of him, of him, the guy, or him, the cat. Ay, 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 ay. Synchronizing howls, reticulating splinies, him the person. Hmm. Okay. And then what happened? It's been rain, rain, rain all, all up in Tartosa right now. Also, I know that Dino has a much better flapper outfit, so I'm going to get that for her. Um, outfits. Where is Dresser? Thank you so much for following there, Mortimer Goth's mistress. Hold on. Okay. I know that Dino not particularly into red, but she looks so good in it with that like very dark lip. Oh, it's a fun outfit. She's got some like ruffles on the side, lots of beading. We're into it. We're going to go dance. We're going to have some drinks. We're going to have a good time. Get in here. Let's go dance, Dino. Um, dance battle. I will dance battle Dino. A hundred percent. Oh, no! <laughs> you got me. I think, I think that was a very well-timed Jar Jar. Oh, no, Twitchy Scroll. Well done. Oh. <laughs> No, no, I can appreciate it. Listen, I love doing it for the bit. That was a great example. Weirdly, this side of the club is like never full. The other side, always pretty busy and also a bunch of ghosts show up. I don't know what that's about. But we're, we're dance battling. Extremely 1920s uh, style dancing. Don't you know? I wanted to know what it sounded like. The ghosts! Every time I come here, there are ghosts. Yikes. Oh, Valentina. We're not the best at dancing yet. Oh, man. Dino, though? She got some moves. They are dancing in complete silence because I'm worried about getting DMCA'd. Uh, okay, we'll do... The flam rendition of, is it Lana Del Rey's Young and Beautiful from The Great Gatsby, where it starts with the trumpets and it's like, oh, thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. Bum, 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 ba, da, da. Right? Like, huh. Well, that really did nothing for us. Let's do one, two, step in. And we're going to try that with Dino, but she might not show up. Okay, here she comes. Phenomenal. Dancing together. I'm into it! Nice. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, you know what? I do actually love it. Just a little bit. We're going to do it again because I got to get that screeny. Um, that was really, really good. Group dance, one, two stepping again. I'm going to get headline effects off. I can position myself, get a screen cap. Let's go. There's one move in particular that I'm watching for. Um... They do this bit uh -huh. where they... Oh, that's a good one, though! Okay, I actually really, really like the way that that looks. Um, okay. 
definitely screen cap worthy. There's another move that I'm waiting to see them do. It was that one. <laughs> Where it sort of looks like they have to pee. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely worth getting a screen grab. Phenomenal. Okay, lots of coffee to read there. While I read the potty dance circa 1924. Yeah, exactly. Listen, this, this, this let's play full of realism. Tons of ghosts, tons of realism. Let's get food. We're going to order. Ooh, yummy. Oh, honestly, I could go for a pita and hummus. Oh, yum. Okay, definitely going to go do that. Bread rolls is a good one. Okay, I'll do bread rolls. Nah, Twitchy Squirrel, you know what you're talking about. Let me get some bread rolls. Uh, the lady said she wasn't taking a photo of him and walked away. The next day, the lady plans to go out and ends up being stopped by two guys. Uh, lectures her about not taking videos of people without their permission. Getting annoyed, took out her camera, showed him that she was taking a... Okay, okay. Hmm. They had pita and hummus back in the day. Well... The thing is, pita and hummus have definitely been around for a long time uh, because pitas are just like unleavened bread, which has been around since like um, really, really early eras, at least. And then hummus definitely would have been available depending on where you were. So because we're out here in Tartosa, I've been playing as if we're not in... North America in the 1920s, but more like Europe and even then like Mediterranean Europe. Yes, but when did white people start eating it? Mm. It's a it's a good question. I guess depending on where you were, right? Like uh, technically Greek people are white, but they would be eating pita and hummus pretty far back. Yeah, Valentina isn't white white exactly. She's like spicy, spicy white. I think she's half Latina. I believe Marjorie's Latina. Yes, yes she is. Okay. Had to scroll back in my memory palace. She is loving the jazz over here. Let's see. Let's see who is in here. Um, That guy's married. That guy I'm not interested in. I think that might be Kai. Literally, it seems like the only person that we are interested in here. Honestly, it's a bit of a bust as far as a club goes. Um, Freaking never anything. You can't make... We technically can with poses. Sorry, I just thought I saw someone. Uh, what's the point of being at the club if there are no cute guys shaking my head? Quite literally. There are more ghosts here than there are cute men. And even then, two of the three ghosts that are here are freaking old ladies. Wait, was there a woman in a head wrap and a bikini? Yeah, so what that was is that she did used to have a dress. Um, and then I might have removed that piece of CC and I just have not fixed her outfits. Whoops. What about the guy in the suit? Ah, is he eligible? Let's go see. We could certainly ask. He definitely looks like he might be an adult rather than a young adult, but that's a fancy gentleman. Um, romance, can I ask? Oh, well, just jump right into his woohoo interests. Okay, Valentina, right to the point. She's like, you're very fancy. Do you like men or women or both or a combination? Maybe she's into Gap. Listen, yeah, no. So far, all of the men she's dated have been adults. Um, so yeah, no, I, I think there might be something there. Um, we're in a bunch of conversations with other people. Enthuse about jazz. You like jazz? She's just like me, for real. Mm -hmm. Deeply relatable. Add Bork. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm like, mmm. Ah, stone cold, silver haired fox. Okay. Ask if single. Okay, here we go. We're definitely not close enough oh, for me to tell you my woohoo interests. Okay, we'll get back. 
Who is that? Is that another ghost or did the ghost just turn colors? I am going to ask him if he's single. That also might have just been a delivery for me. Um, I think probably it is. He is married. Oh, he's married to Faith, who I think is literally in the room with us. Well, that seems like a bust. Don't tell him to bend when you're trying to get bent over. Ah! Yeah, I mean, speaking of, it really looks like it's a bust here. This club is dead. Dino is the only person flirting with us here. And even then, we're mostly here as friends. It's rough. Romance. Uh, let's just do a little bit more flirting. Yikes, 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 yikes. Super lame. I agree. We're going to have to figure out another... Aha, uh -huh, it was just delivered. Okay, let me see if it was delivered to the front door. We might we might do a quick BRB. We're going to do a quick BRB. Yeah, we're going to do a super quick BRB. I do need more unmarried men, and if you want to upload some unmarried men for me, you can do that on the gallery with hashtag... I had to remember how to spell my own username. Flamin' Yawn. Okay. I, I will get us into a better position here. We will be right back. I'm going to go check and see if that was a delivery being dropped off at the front door. See you in a minute. Bye. Um, Let me move us back over into the game. Nice. What a disappointing evening. And even like Dino sort of just walked away from us. Terrible. Um, on the aspiration, we have to have a strong romantic relationship. I don't even think, like, I can't find Dino in the crowd anymore. I think we're going to go home. We're going to call this a bust. And, uh, might have to figure out another option for the 1920s. Like, this is our local club. And we're just not running into Sims here. Everyone's dead or old. Terrible. Literally the only... <gasps> Is this woman in labor? She's actively in labor and she's at the club. That's dedication. Headline effects on. Who are you? Annabelle Duff. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Well... Good luck. Good luck with that. I hope that goes well for you. We've we've been there before. Yikes. I forgot that we have to literally. This is something that the Sims team has been doing where they make really, really beautiful, very long, detailed worlds. And then if you live in that world, they make you jog the entirety of the world to get home. Even though even though you still have to load into your house. And we're not particularly about that. So I am going to just teleport us over and then go home. Yikes. Yeah, see, they still make us go through the rabbit hole, and yet. <sighs> okay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. I'm just scrolling through. Ah, yeah, yeah, on pool parties. Yeah, yeah, compilation. Thank you, Yura. Bless you. Wonderful, wonderful watch list king. Phenomenal. Okay. Yeah, I think we might honestly. What a bust of a day! Like, not only did our woohoo partner just absolutely shun us, but we couldn't even run into anyone at the club. Terrible. At least it's not raining anymore, right? We're gonna go to sleep, hopefully, wake up in a better day, and I guess work on 
the other part of our aspiration. We did complete part of the serial romantic, so we could try to complete uh, 10 excellent paintings. I guess my dream is about a mafia boss romance and dates, mainly cats and cheesecake custard bread. Oh my God, coffee, that sounds so good. Oh. I have to figure out what I'm making for dinner. But on top of that, I have to figure out if William and I are going to the movies today. Um, we're still being pretty cautious about COVID. Um, so this would be the first time I've been to the movies since maybe 2018. Like, we didn't even go to the movies in 2019. But we really, really want to go see um, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Um, especially now that it's been nominated for an Oscar. Like, extremely, extremely into it. And weirdly, the only time that our theater is playing it is in the evenings. Like, they don't even have any daytime showings, which I would love, because I only work the morning on Tuesdays and he doesn't have any class. Um, okay, have some breakfast. Scrambled eggs and bacon. Oh, gross! When Timothy was over, he made a sandwich and left it out all night. Gosh darn it. Um, I'm still heating up my food, busy telling my dream. Coffee, get some food. You've been awake for a hot second now. Yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. He also left a stinking glass of water. That was Grandpa. Dang, everybody makes my house so stinky. What we might do today with Valentina, so that we're not just on the home lot is maybe go up to where we went on that date with Elon, um, Elon Musk, and um, we'll go swimming by the waterfalls and do a bunch of painting there. That way, you know, we're taking advantage of the sun and the sunshine, but also maybe scoping out potential sims. I can't believe it. Like, I have put quite a few, um, both male and female bachelors in this game. And yet anytime I go to a lot, it only spawns people Valentina's parents age or ghosts. Like that fancy dapper man with the red jacket and the blonde mustache was married to one of Valentina's parents' friends. Yikes. We're gonna clean up. We're gonna grab the thing from outside. Gonna get that stinky glass. Nice. Very good. Scrape it all away. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Oh. We're gonna grab, though, listen, the last time we went there and we took our easel, the surroundings ate our easel. So we're gonna try very hard for that to not happen. It is a beautiful day out here today, though. I think I might honestly start her up on top here um, just to get some like really, really good views. Like, look at this. There's like a vineyard up here. Oh, listen, the Sims team did a really, really good job with this world. It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Um. And we still have, we have spoiled bread rolls in our pocket. Oh, yikes. Okay, Valentina, place and world. Let's do a painting. And we'll do a small paint from reference. We could also probably sell some of our paintings if we run into people. Um. Oh. Yeah, you know what? That's that's nice. Like having the little house framed by the tree. I'm into it. Okay. Excellent. Beautiful. Wonderful. Ooh, um, Dino wants to be my best friend. Okay. I don't know if I'm allowed to have more than one best friend. 
Diego had been my best friend. Yes, okay, we are still allowed to be best friends. Cool, 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 cool. That did help us become good friends with Dino. Um, and I guess she's around here somewhere. Oh, she came down to my house. Dang it, Dino. I'm up here. I'm painting. This one? Listen, I think this is going to be really nice looking. I am ex I'm incredibly into that. Well-framed little painting. I do love painting. When I played Decades the first time, Constance, who was our um, one of our two founders, she was a painter and a pianist. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Um, view from the top. Put that in my inventory. And then I'll do another paint from reference, right? There's some really, really nice surroundings out here. Anyway, uh, Constance was sort of like multi-talented where um, she was doing a lot. Still in meeting beautiful painting. Big agree. Yeah. Um, she was doing a lot of playing piano and like painting things. But then she ended up having eight children. <laughs> and never got to do much of anything else. Um, so I tried really, really hard to not start with a painter this time. And of course, we had Noah, who was our beautiful, wonderful milk pocket farmer. Huh. Valentina, by comparison, she's stinky bread roll. Um, but she gets to paint, and I find it so exciting. I'll definitely... If and when we finish this decades, I want to have a painter in like the 60s, yeah. 70s. Um, Tanner ended up being our second painter in uh, first decades. And he was mostly painting like pop art in the late 70s and 80s. Yeah, here she comes. Dino coming all this way to flirt with us. Love to see it. Hey, girl. Hey. Let's brighten Dino's day. And I will sell that painting. That's gorgeous. Wow. Hold on. Sorry. There's a lot happening here. We've got a beautiful painting. We've got Dino ready to serenade us. Talk about marriage already. Okay, so what is fun about that twitchy squirrel is if you're really, really early on in a relationship and you do talk about marriage you actually get really, really negative romance. I think it's a very fun little feature and it sort of penalizes us for wanting to go very quickly in a relationship. Speaking of painting, I'm going to paint something IRL and add it to my wall. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. What are you going to paint coffee? Are you going to tell us or is it a surprise? And just like she came to see us, she's gone already. Where did she go? Dino seriously pieced out. It's a great little, great little build. She head around the corner like, no, she jogged all that way to play like two lines of guitar, say hi to us <laughs> and F the F out. Wait, fuck the fuck out. No, that's not right. <laughs> We're definitely going to sell this. I have no room in my life for fishing. No, 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 no. This is sort of the good thing. There it is. We completed the milestone. Phenomenal. And we're going to sell that, acquire a tiny bit more fame, um, and then put this in our inventory. Let me also just see, like, are we close? We are close to a second fame bubble. Ooh. Woohoo. Hell yeah. How's it going, Dino? Meeting over. Ah. Oh. Are you like, is your day wrapping up? How are you doing? We're going to head out of here. We're going to go back towards those waterfalls where we had sort of like swum around with Elan. Um just like try to have a nice chill time. 
we're gonna do a tiny bit more painting, a little bit of swimming. Like it's the summer and um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully see some cuties. Either my favorite anime characters or a cartoon or plants. Ooh, I'm not sure yet because I want a theme for my room slowly build it into my dream room. Oh, I love that coffee. Yas. Okay. I still have a couple of hours and another meeting in 30 minutes. Ooh, lame. Yeah, no, that's rough. Personally love seeing cuties. Dino, not gonna lie, your sim has been the only cutie we have run into at all in the game today. Um, so we did have a, a sweet little kiss with Sim Dino. But like one of the, uh, the aspirations, we're sort of flipping between the two right now. So for romance, the next thing we need to do is have a strong romantic relationship with three Sims at once which I don't necessarily feel great about, but yeah, we kissed, we kissed. <laughs> yeah, Dino and Valentina, they had the smoochums. It was a good time. We're gonna plant ourselves down here. Oh, <gasps> that's my easel. That's literally mine. Are you kidding me? I can even put it in my inventory. That is the easel that the game stole from me. What if I make a plant and turn it into a cartoon? Ooh. I'd be into that. I'd love to see that. It was a cute kiss. I agree. And I do a tiny bit of painting, tiny bit of swimming. Hope, hope we see some cuties. I have to have a strong romantic relationship. Right now we have a woohoo partner named Timothy, which I hate because of aforementioned uh, my dog. Um, we've got Dino, who we've become best friends with, but also we like kissing her. Um, so we need to lure one more person into this like power quartet. Um, cute kiss, black and white art, but at the same time, yellow or gold. Ooh, hmm. There's a style of um, Japanese clay repairing where I think it's, oh, I, I don't wanna say it just in case I say it wrong, but um, like you take the item and then you fill the crack with gold. I wonder if you could do like a painting where part of it has like a crack down the middle that you fill with gold. Best friends who kiss. I love it. Yeah. No, nah, honestly, best friends who kiss feels pretty 1920s to me. <laughs> it's like, hey, this is my friend Dino. And also I like making out with her. Except, you know, they're not going to publicize that too much. They, There was a sim that Karina made who kept sort of stumbling into the conversation. And I was like, okay, you got to go away so I can flirt with Dino. Thanks. This one's fun. A dog and a cat in front of like a ruined, abandoned church. Very pretty. Oh, that was just a masterpiece. Whoa. You know what? I am actually going to keep that one. Um, we're going to do one other painting. One other painting. Um, just because I think our fame is close enough that we, if we do another painting, we're going to get the next celebrity level. Valentina, multifaceted lady. Everyone who's coming through here is an old woman. Where are the attractive singles I was promised? Where are the singles in my area waiting to toss my salad and scramble my eggs? Who are you? Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kubo Hiroki. <gasps> he might be cute. Have you met any of the neighbors? I have. He's cute! Okay, Valentina. Okay, Valentina. Valentina, you paint. I'll keep an eye on him. I'll make sure he doesn't leave. We're gonna go flirt with Kubo Hiroki. Why not? I think I got a bag stuck to my foot. I did. 
Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, he can't get away. He can't swim away at this point. I will catch him. Valentina ally. <laughs> Kissing her girlfriend. Uh, finding attractive singles. Oh my god, this one's pretty too. He might. Oh, a second masterpiece. Valentina, come on. Okay. F fuck, I do want to keep that one. It's pretty. I have not seen every painting in the game. Um, but those two, I haven't seen either of them. Ever. So I'm like, listen, that's beautiful. I'll keep that. She's a little bored of that skill. Yeah, been there, done that. So we're going to swap back over to Romance. And uh, go meet Kubo Hiroki. Let's do... Can I do a flirty introduction yet? Room. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, Valentina, go get him. Jaws theme song. Go get him. Who else is in here? Amas you. Ooh. I know she's married, though. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Okay, Baywatch, let's go. Don't get out of the water, don't get out of the water. Hey, yeah, don't get out of the water. Just come talk to us. Hey, Kubo, hey, Kubo, hey, Kubo. No, 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 no. Hey, Kubo, no. Kubo, no. Kubo, no. Go here. Stop. <gasps> no! Okay, I thought I, I yeeted him out of the space. I will do a flirty introduction with you, and I want you... Oh my god, look at his smile! This... He's a cute one. And he's... He's a little thick. Like... I think... I think he's cute. Um... Grapevine gossip, right? Like, hi, how's it going? Who are you? Uh, I'll come sit with you. Aren't the hot air balloons in the sky romantic? Yeah, let's sit together and chat, huh? Oh my god. Moving around. Sims, you're impossible, please. Show off my muscles. Yeah, you know, he's got muscles. I'm sure he'd approve. Yeah, okay. Literally, like, one of the only... Only one of the men and not old women to walk through here. I assume he's single. I like him too. Yeah, I I definitely like him. We're gonna build a sand sculpture. Good way to build some friendship. Um, that better not be. Nope, you're not allowed to leave, Kubo Hiroki. You gotta stay here and talk to me. That child is very inappropriately dressed, but pop off. Yeah, adorable. Lots of people walking through here trying to destroy my sand sculpture. Come on. Uh, oh, Yan. Okay, I paused my baby challenge, started to play normal, and decided to stream it in the future. <gasps> very fun coffee. Will you stream it when infants come out? Oh, yes. <laughs> Because that's definitely going to change the way that you can play Baby Challenge. Okay, we'll do a flirt. Friendly. Likes and dislikes. Get to know. Just like a sweet little flirt, right? Ma. Coffee. We're going to get that infant out update in like the next two months. He's really cute. Oh my gosh. Ask Kubo on a date <gasps> from recent social interaction. Valentina's getting butterflies thinking about Kubo. Maybe it's time to ask him on a date. That's going to be my trauma. Yeah, I, I don't doubt that. Um, bright and day. Date, 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 date. Right. Absolutely. I'm going to do just a tiny bit more getting to know him to make sure that he is single. What is your career? What are you interested in? Do you want to go on a date with me? She's a forward young lady. Oh, I thought that was her fame. Dang it. Okay. Valentina is a shining beacon of positivity for the community. Ooh. He's a mixologist. 
Okay. Are you single seems pertinent. You know what? You've made a good point, Dino. You've raised a very, very good point. Are you single? Before I ask you on a date, are you single? <laughs> you, me, and Alliance, um, he's single. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I thought flirting with the bartender wasn't allowed. We're not in the club right now. Headline effects off. Listen, okay, she's looking respectfully, and I think that that is absolutely worth a screenshot. We're looking respectfully at this man. And with good reason. Oh boy. If I had the James Turner sound effects, I would be playing that like porno guitar where it's like Yeah. That's a handsome sim. Okay. Um yeah. Let me ask him on a date. Um ask on a date. He literally didn't pick up the phone. Hunk central, hunk central, hunk central. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little rough that he's getting mixed up with Valentina while she is actively kissing Dino, and also has a woohoo partner named Timothy. But okay, we're gonna go to the winery. We can watch the sunset from on top of the cliff. This will be good for a date. Yeah, okay. We're into it. Um, I'll probably keep going with Sims for a little bit. You can ask to be friends with me, I won't mind. I have to build our romantic relationship, yours and Valentina's, a little bit. You value communication above all else. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, I have to build it just enough so that we can have that thing pop through. But then, yeah, no. Little bit of kissing. We could remain best friends. Excellent, wonderful, good. Very good, very good. Man. Oof. Huffle Palm over on Twitter is up to 352 days of asking the Sims team for Jewish cultural representation in the Sims with an SDX for Jewish head coverings and foods. Wow, the fact that they're almost up to a full year of asking for cultural representation with zero acknowledgement. Fucking messed up. Um, right now I'm designing something for it. I almost burned my pizza. Coffee, don't burn the pizza! Break my heart. No. You know what? You know what, Dino? I think... I think Kubo wouldn't mind being part of a thruple. Dino. Kubo. Valentina. Thruple. We will request this table outside where I can watch the sunset. Oof, Sims. Right? The one time that Huffle Palm did get any type of acknowledgement from the Sims team was when they located multiple anti Semitic um, Sims that had been uploaded to the gallery. And the Sims team, even then, it took them way too long to acknowledge it. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me? Ah! Okay. He must be one of my Komarebi sims. Like, he has put on some formal wear. I'm impressed. Hot was for thruple, not the terrible sims. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I gotcha. Hot for the thruple. We could have extremely beautiful... Um, multi-ethnicity children. I'm planning to download MC Command Center since it would allow me to add more sims to the household. Yes, the other fun thing about MC Command Center... Skiing vacay when... <laughs> yeah, skiing vacay when... Oh my gosh! Okay, sorry. Sorry, we've reached that part of stream where I have to take a screenshot. Look at how sweet they are. She's just chuckling. He's looking incredibly cute. I like him. I like him a lot. I like don't even know him, but 
the last time we were here, we were pregnant. Yikes. Okay, uh, we will get... You know what? We can actually have expensive wine this time. The last time we were here, again, we had like 5,000 simoleons, and then we got food poisoning, and then we found out we were pregnant, and then we peed ourselves. It was a bad day. It was a really bad day. <laughs> I got my pizza, Valentina the hot sauce, and my Takis. Sounds wonderful, coffee. If you stream, MCC is a must. It can... Yeah. Yeah. Dino, I fully agree. MC Command Center is really, really, really helpful for streaming. We'll both get some lobster, I think. Yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. The fact that you can alter what your Sims are wearing, uh, you can check to see if they are pregnant, right? Um, you can just delete a Sim if you don't like their face. It's really, really helpful. I also, um, if you ask in the where can I find that channel on the Discord coffee, um, there's a particular simmer whose cop like settings for the game I copied, um, where they had like custom settings all about like spawning sims in or whatever. Very, very, very helpful. Oh, Koopa wants to be our best friend too. Okay. Well, we'll do that with everyone, I guess, because if you say no, then you get a bad sentiment, and I don't need that happening right now. I wanted to, but I have to study it first. Yeah, honestly, considering that I've been using it for a while, I have not deviated from the settings that I learned from that other person. He's really cute. Um, let's get to know. Do you have a favorite color? He's a little flirty. Um, have deep conversations with your date. Okay. He's cheerful. Ooh. Okay, ask about day. How's it going since I met you two hours ago? <laughs> She's feeling very flirty. Hot dinner date. Romantic atmosphere. All the friends. Okay. Friendly. Um, let's do another deep conversation. He's adventurous! Valentina's adventurous! Oh my gosh! Be careful with adding additional sims to the household. I've completely lost sims from my game during this. Yes. Uh, the thing I remember from when I had expanded my household in early decades last time around was that it was impossible to go into CAS by conventional means. Like, if you clicked a dresser or a mirror to go into CAS, your game would bug, because it's like, you're not supposed to have more than eight sims here. Uh, so you have to use MC Command Center to go in to create a sim. But on top of that, moving sims across households also gets pretty buggy. Okay, he's cheerful, outgoing, and adventurous. We're feeling deeply connected despite the fact we just met. I think I'm, I think this might be the start of a love story. Yeah, Dino. Just a little. Um, and the fact that she's actively working on more of a relationship, like a friendship with him before pursuing romance. Yeah, I don't mess with more than eight in a household anymore. Yeah, the one horror story I always share, this better not be woohoo, it's ask him on another date. Oh my gosh, that is incredibly romantic. I, I feel like this is character growth for her. She doesn't immediately want to jump him. She would rather continue to like date him. Okay, so the MC Command Center expanded household horror story. I had 31 or 32 Sims that I added to a household so that I could control all of them and have them pose to take a picture. I think my laptop would have exploded. It it was a bad time. The, it, the computer was so hot. It was really impossible. I did end up getting a couple of pictures, but never again. 
Uh, Alice in Wonderland, but I'm thinking of adding desserts and pastries. Ooh, coffee, hold on. Uh, I've been watching YouTube videos about it lately. I guess the theme I chose for myself is Alice in Wonderland. That's so exciting! Yoss coffee. I am also loving them. Like, I'm sorry, again, not to go into screenshot mode, but like he's explaining things to her and she's just looking with such like reverence. Like, oh, wow, you are the most fascinating sim I've ever met in my life, I think. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at how handsome he is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if... Okay, I, I'm definitely getting ahead of myself. Oh, our food's here. Um, if we got married to him... The, whoa, hold on. Was that fire? Sorry, sorry. Oh, it was. It's a column of fire in there. Cool. Okay. If we got married to him, would we become Valentina Hiroki or Valentina Kubo? The sunset and the lighthouse. I know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. She really has to pee herself. This is turning exactly into the situation from last time. But... Um, let's have our drink, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, no. I'm living for this. Oh, cool, 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 cool. We totally just glitched out of our table. That feels like a good time to go to the bathroom. Yeah, okay. That's a very good time to go to the bathroom. There's a lady here in a very, very pretty outfit. What the heck is that about? Yeah, the fact that Valentina doesn't immediately want to woohoo him, fascinating to me. He's watching us walk away. He's so cute. Oh. Yeah, this is a very, very different pee waddle than the last time we were here, right? We pee waddled all the way home. <gasps> He's coming downstairs too. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let 21 or 19 Sims. Oh my God, coffee. 21 or 19 Sims will destroy your computer. I swear. 10? 10's ambitious. 21 or 19, very, very many. There's lots of videos about um, making your own, um, like, by theme or program, do you mean overlay, like your Twitch stuff? Um, technically, I make all of my stuff. Um, but, like, I have uh, a pretty good copy of Photoshop that I've used for a long time. Let me wash my hands again and brush my teeth. She's, like, she's all flustered. She's like, I might kiss him. Oh. <laughs> just work up that hygiene just a little. Yeah, there's lots of really, really good videos um, on YouTube. Oh my God, she's beautiful. Like, I want to make my own theme. Yes, but coffee, do you mean, like, what do you mean by theme? Like, do you mean Sims challenge or like overlay and stuff? Watch videos on OBS. Yeah, that's a hot tip. Okay, we're gonna call him back out. I'm done. I'm done in the powder room. I just, you know, touched up my nose. Let's go have our supper. Uh, another naked lady. Perfect. Beautiful. I think overlay. Yeah, no. Okay. So yes, yes, yes. There are lots of videos on making your own overlay. Um, if you have questions about it, I am happy to help. I don't know everything, but like I know enough to have what I've made over here. Overlays are just images you add to OBS with transparency in the middle. Yeah, exactly. Um, and like, you can get fancy about them if you want. Like, um, you can make an image in like paint or Photoshop or any sort of like photo editor and you can like cut transparency into it so that you can then um, like, okay. For example, this, this is all an image that I made in Photoshop. 
um, with different layers and stuff. And then I cut out the box where my camera is um, so that it would be transparent and I could overlay that on top of the cam. Download OBS and start watching videos. Yes, exactly. Gosh. Okay, this date's going very well. Uh, and I think we ate. We did eat our food. Good. He's not eating, but like that's okay. He's got a really deep voice. <laughs> okay, we're feeling flirty again. Oh, okay. We're gonna compliment his appearance and we're gonna blow him a kiss. And then maybe. Maybe afterwards. Maybe a real kiss. I don't know. I'm like a little bit. I'm a little flustered about it. He's really, really cute. Legendary date. There's something special in your Sims household inventory to help remember it. Ooh. Yeah, he's really, really cute. Um, and then let's let's try it. Let's try our first kiss. She picked up her wine. Of course she did. Oh, Val. Oh my gosh! In front of my salad. Sorry. Oh my gosh, the fact that she's going for a first kiss with, like, the lighthouse in the background. Like, look at this setting for a first kiss. Oh my god. Okay, back down, back down. Lighthouse in the background. Vineyard in the background. Gorge. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I went right down into hell. Okay. Sorry. I am way too flustered. Who's letting me play Sims? Um, fuck. Okay. No. There's weird frickin' platforms at work here that are bouncing me around. I gotta get an angle. Come on. Okay. There. Finally. Finally. We're back up here. Okay. Uh, let's blow another kiss and then kiss again. Sorry, I had to re- You missed truly nothing, Coffee. You're good. First kiss from socialization. Luscious libation. Warm surroundings. Oh my god. Yas. Everything is turning up, Valentina. Nice. Hold hands. Oh my god, she still hasn't. Oh my god. She still hasn't rolled a whim to woohoo him. She just wants to hold his hand and kiss him. That. Yeah, she's having the time of her life. This is an extremely good date for Valentina. I'm allowed to. I'm going to add a lot of weirdness, maybe, since I'm going with Alice and making myself a chibi model. <gasps> Ooh, coffee. Are you thinking about VTubing then? Um, let me hold his hands. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I think that that truly was a legendary date. Um. Nineteen twenties, nineteen thirties, nineteen forties. I think we're in for some very interesting time periods with Valentina as our heir. It seems to be that the heir runs for like thirty years. Um, like Noah, we had eighteen ninety, nineteen hundred, nineteen ten. Valentina, nineteen twenty, thirty, forty. Our next heir will probably be fifty, sixty, seventy. 80, 90, 2000s, 2010, 2020. Yeah, no, no, no. We got we got lots of room uh, to explore. Anyway, I'm going to run her up, tuck her into bed, and I think we might call it there. 
I'm gonna make another account on Twitch and go by the name Gummy or Ooh, that's very cute. Meeting time again, Sag. Truly not gonna miss nothing, Dino. You're doing phenomenal. Good luck with your meeting. Legitimately, we're gonna tuck her into bed. Have a great evening, Flam. I'll miss you. I will miss you too. We'll see. We'll see if William and I end up going to movies and missing stream. Um, because like you, we have that snowstorm imminent. Um, you'll see me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with us, folks. Uh, I'm going to try on all of the fun stuff that came in my order. And that's going to do it for us for 1924. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with us today. Uh, we'll be back online on Thursday at 1 o'clock EST, and I hope to see you then. Bye, everybody.